Let me stop playing. Hi guys, it's Tara. I'm back with another video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share. Anyways, I wanted to come on here and have a conversation today about um, some information I came across. I don't remember when I came across the information, but it was recent. But um, the information I came across, it was this girl that I was watching on YouTube. Um, her name Rachel. I go say her last name. Just because. Anyways, I was watching her video on YouTube or whatever. And cause y'all, as y'all can see, I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube. I don't watch TV. I'm not one of them people that just be like watching TV. Cause I don't care. Like half the stuff that be on TV is like make believe. It's fantasy. And it's like, why would I get caught up in this? But anyways, um, I was watching this video. Well, she was doing like a reading, and she was talking about this guy. Ooh, excuse me if I pronounce his name wrong. Cause he's not even on this earth anymore. But his name is um. Koto Milkwa, ooh baby, and I had never heard of him. Like never in my twenty-seven years of living, I had never heard of this man. So I decided to like research who he was, and child, I don't understand why we don't all know who he is. But anyways, maybe y'all do, maybe y'all don't, but I know I didn't. But um, first of all, what I realized it wasn't a lot of information about him online, like. Any information that you have to get, it was pr primarily coming from, like, his books or whatever. So, I decided to, like, do my own research and get to digging or whatever. Because most of the information that I had found on social media and online was specifically talking about his passing. And I was just like, why is there so much stuff on here about this man's passing and not about what he actually did in life? So, like I said, I, I ran across a few videos or whatever, and I just kind of caught his vibe. And his whole vibe was just like, you know, give an ascended master. Well, I wouldn't say an ascended master, but he was definitely like some sort of prophet. Like, he was definitely anointed and very enlightened. But um, it was one particular topic that he was specifically talking about that at first, me being the little mathematician I am, I was like, wait a minute, what is he talking about? Like, um, I'm not understanding because the math is just not mathing. Like, but he had definitely said, like, we have to wake the mother mind. And I was like, okay, where are you going with this? So he begins to say, like, you know, um, men tend to think like one plus one equals two. But with the mother mind, one plus one equals three. And I was like, his math off however i had to tap into a different part of myself and kind of resonate on the information and i realized oh one plus one does equal three if you're a woman and i feel like a lot of people that information would kind of go over their head so i feel like it's something that needs to be talked about especially in the times that we're living in as of right now um but if you're not even just if you're a woman, one plus one does equal three. And the reason as to why I say that is because if you take the average woman, okay, well, not the average woman, but most women, and you incorporate a man in and you guys procreate, you create a third being. So technically one human, a woman, plus one man equals creation and that equates to three however that's not what he meant just within the sense of mathematics what he was trying to say or what he was saying was the fact that we all have equal parts feminine and masculine you have the divine feminine and the divine masculine each individual person on this earth has this. It's that whole sun versus the moon duality. Like I said, um, it's spoken about in several other cultures. It's not something that we really um, tend to focus on over here in the United States. But like I said, each individual person on this earth is made up of two equal parts, well, two parts. And we as a people have to understand that a lot of us think, and if we dive deeper and we want to actually come up with a scientific um, explanation for it, 
each one of us has a um, two halves of the brain. So you have your masculine side and you have your feminine side. I believe the masculine side is your left side of your body. And yeah, that's exactly it. Um, your left side of the body is your receiving hand, which is your um, masculine. And then the left side, I mean, I'm sorry, the right side of the body is your feminine or your giving. And a lot of us, myself included at one point in time, used to only kind of think from one particular half of the body, which is my, um, I could be very, very masculine, <laughs> but um, I'm very analytical, very logical. That's where your logical mind kind of comes from, is from the left side. However, we as humans have to start beginning to tap in to that right side of the brain and that right side of the brain is where your compassion your empathy your creativity all of that comes from now am i saying that every single person operates only from one or the other side of the body a lot of people that i personally used to know can kind of mm, operate from either side of the body and not both However, we're living in a time where, like I said, we have to find balance within ourselves in order to evolve as humans. So, and I keep saying that, and I did say before that I was going to do a video on um, an explanation of what 50 is, because I kind of got a lot of room on my phone, I kind of might do that in this video too. But, um, like I said, we're at a time in history where we have to to awaken that more compassionate, empathetic, creative side of our brains because, like I said, we're moving into 5D. And what 5D is, let me just give a quick explanation. 5D, some people tend to think of it as a physical place, but it's actually not. All it is is a higher level or a higher state of consciousness. So once you awaken um, specific parts of your brain, there are certain abilities that you will have, okay? Like, when I say certain abilities, I mean far beyond what the average human, as of right now, can compute. So you start unlocking different parts of your brain. You start to balance your divine feminine and your divine masculine, and they work in unison, and you find balance. Baby, like I said, it's certain stuff that you can do that... uh it's just not talked about um, from... Let me pull out this book. Because I've been reading this one book lately. I ain't going to say the book just because y'all don't need to be all in my business. <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> um, but it's this one book that I've been pretty much reading. But like I said, once you unlock these certain parts of your brain, there's certain things that you can do. And when I say certain things that you can do, I mean like psychic abilities. Okay? Like remote viewing astral projection telepathy like you know what i'm saying and like i said we live in a world where a lot of the things that we see on an everyday basis like these phones for instance these phones are really just a recreation of what us humans can already do like that's the real tea facetime baby remote viewing is facetime like that's what that is you could be in your head and you could see something from all the way on the other side of the world. Now, people that are avidly into like meditation and stuff like this, they know this stuff. Like I said, people that are highly enlightened, this ain't new to them. Like, first of all, let me give y'all some quick tea. Back in the 19, I want to say 50s up until I want to say the 90s, um, the CIA was doing experiments with different soldiers where they were using psychic abilities, ha 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 ha, psychic abilities to um counteract their ops, pretty much. So they were using people to remote view. It wasn't just that. It was all types of things. And like I said, they did this for almost 40 years. Like I said, it's not something that's talked about mainstream, but it's definitely something that, I wouldn't say it's something that wasn't talked about mainstream up until like maybe a few years ago. Now, because we're moving into this age of Aquarius and everything that was in the dark is now coming to the light, it's stuff that is starting to be talked about more on an everyday basis. Like I said, if you go on 
any part of social media and if you have any sort of interest in this you're going to see stuff like this come up you're starting to see more tarot readers come out like everybody's coming out the woodworks with these gifts that they have and best believe like every single person on this planet has the ability to tap into this sort of energy however in order for you to be able to tap into this sort of 5d energy you have to balance some chakras okay not only balance and cleanse out your chakras you have to find balance within yourself and like i said finding balance within yourself is if you're not using both sides of your brain you should start now one thing that i used to always say as a kid and i never understood as to why i would say this um i have only met a handful of people who are um ambidextrous and I used to so like, oh my God, I want to be able to write with both of my hands. I don't know why I used to say this as a child, but I noticed that a really good way for you to kind of like unlock the different sides of your brain just because of how connected your body is in a sense, like everything is connected. Your teeth is connected to every single point within your body. You have parts of your hand that are connected to every single point of your body. You have points in your feet that are connected to every single point in your body. The easiest way for me that I've noticed to unlock like that different, that other side of your brain, like I said, once you do the healing work, because child, it ain't going to work if you ain't doing your healing work. You got to do that first. Okay. So get you some chakra. I mean, get you some crystals, get you some um, essential oils, start doing your month. I mean, your meditation, start doing your intentions, your prayers. First of all, you need to develop a relationship with God. Okay. Because if you open yourself up to certain things before the time is ready, you're going to get spiritually attacked, okay? Because it's not just us out here. Like, other people can't see this stuff. It's a lot of stuff out here that, um, all I'm going to say is it is a spiritual warfare going on. And it's primarily people, um, that are out here doing different stuff. And like I said, you have to make sure that it's done the right way or else it might be some dire consequences and it might be something that it's not something that nobody can't get past however like I said it is certain things that you need to do to make sure you're straight so whether that be protecting yourself saying your prayers developing developing a relationship with God okay I don't mean like you call on him when times is bad like you need to be praying all day every day okay Once you do that, like I said, the easiest way that I found that allows you to unlock that other side of your brain is to write with your non-dominant hand. Um, I am right-handed, okay? Like, that's my dominant hand. So it makes sense as to why, you know what I'm saying, like that empathetic side is already kind of there. I don't even think it, 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 matter of fact, I don't even think it, correlates the same I think my right hand is associated to the left side of my brain and that's why I'm so analytic and my left hand is associated to my right so like I said I'm right-handed so I noticed that like every now and again I would literally just start writing with my left hand now granted I ain't say the handwriting was gonna be you know what I'm saying (laughs) it's not amazing however the more you do it and the more you train yourself to do that like I said the more it allows for you to unlock different parts of your brain and it's like I said for me it's been the easiest way that I found to kind of balance out both halves of my brain in addition to like I said all the extra work that I do so like I said for anybody that's trying to unlock these abilities baby go get you some pen go get you a pen go get you some paper and write with the hand that you're not dominant with like try to do things in your everyday basis where if you are a person that advocately reaches to do things with your dominant hand try to do it with your non-dominant hand and i would say maybe probably notice within mm, of consistently doing it i would say maybe two weeks notice how different you feel notice how different you think and then another thing that people have to realize you have to be careful on what it is that you're absorbing on an everyday basis because like I said I'm a person where I don't even watch tv I don't care about it like okay got a whole 60 uh what's that called a 60 inch tv that literally just sits on the wall the only time I watch it is when I'm doing my meditations 
or when I'm doing yoga. Other than that, like, it's not something that I even, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Just because the one thing that we'll learn as we further go off into 5D, the world is nothing but energy. Like, I have my own energy, um, like, energy, not energy source, but, like, my own energy aura. Everybody has their own energy aura. And it's not just everybody. It's the trees, the animals, the things that you watch. And the thing is, is we're transferring energy constantly. So if the stuff that you're watching is of a low vibrational frequency, you're absorbing that energy. And that's why I say I'm so picky about why I don't even watch TV anymore. And if I am watching something on YouTube, nine times out of ten, it's something that's going to better me as a person I just don't desire to give my energy to anything that is not of God okay or not to the point where I'm I'm learning because I have a knack for learning I've said that in previous other videos I love to learn that's just that so like I said if you wanted to kind of tap into these abilities go and write with your non-dominant hand and drop a link in the comments about how that's going for you because like I said it's been the easiest the easiest way for me to kind of you know tap into certain things within myself and like I said most of y'all might not believe this but baby we as humans and this is stuff that our ancestors knew like this is that's why I say like we're coming into we're in this age of enlightenment where uh, all that information that was hidden is now coming to the light like like I said you have people like the CIA that was using it as weaponizing it but in all actuality this stuff never went away it's just been underground and now that all of it is coming back out and people are coming out the woodworks talking about it we all have the ability to like I said tap into these certain different things it's just it's like anything you know you do it it takes practice you know what I'm saying but hey you practice you do your healing work you do your shadow work in a year from now, I'm telling you, you could be out here like, okay, I hear you in my mind. Like, for real. Like, it's really that serious. But anyways, um, like I said, we're at this point where you guys, we all, um, if you haven't already, need to awaken your mother mind because, baby, the world is lacking compassion. Everybody's too logical. They're too masculine. They're too into themselves. And we need a little bit more, imp well, not a little bit. We need a whole lot more empathy, okay? We need a whole lot more empathy and a whole lot more love, okay? And I feel like with that, that we'll be all right. But anyways, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye.